We got it. Oh my god! Holy shit, this. Shit, teammate. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the certified melt machine, the Fennec 45. This weapon is incredibly satisfying to use, but you're gonna have to tune the attachments properly in order for it to be actually viable. So with all being said, the like on this video is going to be 500 likes. If you guys wanna stay up to date with any and all, best class setups and tunes, best settings, tips and tricks, or want to be notified with any new updates, go live here in Mono for two, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications. Put it down in the comment section right now. What is your favorite SMD to use here in Model for 2 right now? All right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and the fastest killing Fennec 45 class setup. This weapon is incredibly satisfying to use. Now we're starting off with the stock and we're actually going to go ahead and remove it completely with the FTAC stock cap. This is going to allow us to go ahead and have increased mobility and strengthen up our aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and hit fire recoil control. Just overall a fantastic attempt to run on any SMG that you can remove the stock on just to make it more devastating at those close to medium range engagements. Now we're not going to tune this. Now for the optic, we are going to put on the Cronin Mini Pro. This is going to be the blue dot sight here for the Fennec. Now, you can run the iron sights if you want to, but honestly, I'd rather have a precision sight picture, especially on a gun that has a very fast fire rate. That's going to benefit players from being as accurate as possible to get the fastest time to kill. That's where we're going to go ahead and run this on our class. Now, we are actually going to go ahead and tune this attachment, and we're going to max out only the aim down sight speed so we can snap on the players and in turn get a better chance at winning that gunfight. That's why I go ahead and max out the aim down sight speed on the blue dot. Now we're gonna skip over the laser and we're gonna jump right over to the barrel and we are gonna run the Forge Tack Ninja Barrel. This is essentially gonna have an integrated suppressor in here that's gonna allow us to be able to flank the enemy team, get behind their spawn, and build up a quick and easy streak. And you guys are gonna see that in the gameplays. We're gonna have sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, as well as recoil control. A great attachment to run on the Fennec 45 to go ahead and strengthen up its medium to long range engagements and allow you to outgun other AR players if you guys get into those encounters. Now we are going to tune this attachment as well and we are going to max out the aim down sight speed as well as the aim walking speed. Now the barrel is already going to give you some damage over range but the only downside about this attachment is it's going to drastically slow this weapon down so we are going to still max out the aim down sight speed as well as the aim walking speed so this weapon does not feel like a complete slug when running a long range barrel. Now for the under barrel we are going to go ahead and put on the VX pineapple. This is going to be fantastic if you guys want to have accuracy at longer ranges and also bump up that hip fire which this gun is pretty solid at. We're going to have hip fire accuracy, hip recoil control, recoil steadiness to smooth out that recoil pattern as well as aim walking steadiness. Now we are also going to tune this attachment and we're going to max out the aim down sight speed and the hip walking speed overall going ahead and bumping up this weapon's close range lethality. Remember, on the Fennec 45, you want to speed up this weapon as much as possible to prevent it from feeling like a complete slug. And then finally, for the last attachment, we are going to go ahead and run the 45 round magazine. This is actually mandatory in this weapon because it is literally a melt machine. It shoots bullets incredibly fast, has a stupid fast fire. 45 honestly isn't enough, but you know, it's all we have. So we are going to go ahead and utilize this for this setup. And this is going to be the Fennec. Definitely a solid SMG you should check out. Main of the build is going to be the Vel 46. We have the stun grenade, proximity mine, and for our perks, we have a custom package with overkill scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. And for my field upgrades, I have pro selected with the ammunitions box and dead silence. Definitely go ahead and give this class setup a try. It's solid. And yeah, uh, Let's get right into some new gameplay. I need to figure out why my game be screen tearing. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Somebody in the comment section let me know, please, because it actually is frustrating. I know it ain't my PC. I think there's some type of setting I have enabled. Maybe I have something set up improperly. I'm not too sure because 
I'll get random screen tears. It could be the game for that matter. But it is beyond frustrating. And I'm trying to go ahead and fix this. Only got four people on their team. They need to go ahead and add like 10 v 10 or something in here. This game desperately needs. That's probably the biggest complaint that I have is that there's just not enough fellas on the map. Like, there's no reason why we can't have bigger teams on this game. All the maps can support it. I don't want to hear that they can't. It would greatly speed things up. Go, oh, baby. There's somebody back here, I think. See, he's like, I'm doing so much. I'm doing so much running. God damn. Requesting close air. Target marked. <laughs> Imagine if I died to that kid. Stand by. Enemy targets at the hard point. All right, we got the advanced. They probably still only... Oh my God. Oh, they got a, they got a, they got a full team now. Thank God. Alright, let's hit a flank. I'm actually gonna get a Betty down right here. I know I could probably get a couple Locating kills off their spawn. Have to hit a flank again. Target area updated. Move to the Phoenix Two City flying outbound. RTB for resupply. Subject is coming. There we go. Mission is half complete. Secure this victory. Switching max. Doing too much running, man. This is actually kind of like sad. Like, uh, like this is literally the biggest complaint I had with Modern Warfare 2. Like, throwing a stun grenade. Outplayed him. Changing max. Hard point relocating. Stand by. I'm reloading. Hard point relocating. Get that down right there. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much running. Can we get a UAV? Like... I feel like they should be spawning like... Our UAV is Thank you. And buddy had a Kembos. They got six... Like... See, this is <sighs> this 6v6 stuff is so old bro like we need we need 10v10 we need we need more players we need more players on the map My dead silence. Location updated. Capture the hard point. 
66 is such a bag, bro. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, are you kidding me? Spawns are chizok. No Etal. Let's call the VTOL in. We need to get ammo. Advance. Dude, my fucking advance is literally just tearing it up. It over here. This Finnick is like, man, dude, this shit is so like I, I love this SMG. Like you could truly just run and gun with this thing. Has a ridiculous fast time to kill. Need to figure out exactly where they're gonna come from, though. I'm putting one right here. Yep. We'll do a full wrap. Oh, damn. All right, Betty got somebody. Flash out. It's stun out. Your stick. Got a stun. Hard point relocating. Stand by. Let's rotate around the back. Relax. Plant in mind. Enemy UAV overhead. Attention, Max. Enemies inside the perimeter. Someone stunned. Shit, teammate. I'm gonna hit the flank. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. 
Come on, where the f dude? Where? Oh shit. We got it. Oh my god. Like, I. The shit that we had. That was a tactical ass gameplay. Like, I literally could not rush the spot. I had to literally play. This is what we need. This is what we need. 10v10, man. Like 6v6. Oh shit. My teammate's actually going off. This is literally why we need like a 10v10 mode. Like. And I get killed by an SPR. Yeah, that's fine. That's my cue to call the new game. <laughs> when you get killed by an SPR, like it's a shotgun at close range, just, just call the new game. Like that was. God, like I was just running around. We didn't have six people in here. 5v5, like. Fuck, how did he not die off rib?